Hi, in this video, we will see how to work with multiple sheets in Microsoft Excel. Normally, what happens is uh, if the amount of data is huge or the data is more, what we will do is we will uh, divide that data into multiple sheets and uh, we will work between the multiple sheets okay, according to the requirement or if the data, the type of the data is different okay, it is, if, if you are having different different types of data means we will collect all those different types of data in different uh, uh, sheets or worksheets in an excel workbook and uh, uh, we will work with all the multiple sheets okay, so here uh, I have taken one particular data that is uh, IA marks, final marks. This is one particular workbook. Okay. Now it this workbook is having only one sheet. Here you can see only one sheet. Okay, you can create a new sheet. Whatever the number of uh, sheets you want to create, you can create it. And you can delete also. You can delete sheets also. Okay, like this. Or you can copy the existing worksheet. You can copy the existing worksheet. Uh, let me uh, explain how to copy the worksheet. Just go here, right click, okay, move or copy. Select move or copy. After that, uh, you select move to end. Move to end. Now click on create a copy if you do not click uh, on create a copy the original sheet will will be deleted and uh, it will be moved to the end uh, what i will do is i will create a copy say ok now you can see so one more uh, worksheet is created what i have done is uh, this uh, first worksheet i have copied ok let me rename this as ia2 let me rename it as IA2. What we will do is we will create the separate worksheets with IA1 marks in a separate worksheet, IA2 marks in a separate worksheet. Okay, if possible, we will create a assignment marks also in a separate worksheet and we will work with all the multiple sheets uh, to get the final marks. Okay, to get the final marks. So you can copy a sheet. Uh, in the excel ok there is one more possibility you can copy the sheet from different excel workbook ok what i will do is i will copy this paste ok i will rename it as number 2 i will open this workbook ok i will open this workbook let me delete this Okay, now the one more workbook which I copied now that I have opened uh, which is named as number 2. Okay, you can copy worksheet means a worksheet of this work, uh, Excel workbook to the final marks workbook. Okay, what I will do now is I will copy the sheet of uh, this uh, number 2 workbook to the final marks workbook here ok that is also possible that is also possible just go here right click move or copy move to end here you need to choose that file ok workbook file so I, uh, we want to copy that file to the final marks I will select that ok so you click on move to end means at the end that file will be copied so you click on create a copy if you do not click on create a copy now this original sheet will be removed from this workbook it will be deleted so always you try to uh, uh, choose this option create a copy ok create a copy so that this original data uh, will not be distracted or will not be del deleted ok save ok now you can see in this final marks the same this sheet is copied here here ok so you can copy the sheets from different workbook 
Okay, you can copy the sheets from different workbook as well. Okay, let me close this file number two. Now I'll call this as assignment marks. Assignment. Assignment marks. Okay. So here I'll create one more sheet. Here I'll say that. Uh, okay. This one I'll co copy. New one copy. Move to end. Create a copy. Let me delete this. I'll call. I'll rename this as final marks. Final marks. Okay. So in IA1 sheet, I will just keep IA1 marks. Okay. I will just keep IA1 marks. I will delete all these columns. So I have only IA1 marks in sheet 1. Okay. Here in the next sheet, I will just keep IA2 marks. IA2 marks. I will delete this. Okay. So here I have only IA2 marks. Okay. So in assignment marks, I will just keep only the assignment marks. Okay, assignment, this is assignment one. Assignment Assignment 1 Mark Okay, this is Assignment 1 Mark And uh, Assignment 2 Marks uh, Here we have Assignment 2 Marks Okay, let me Hide all these uh, columns. I'll rename this as assignment two. Assignment two. Assignment two. Then quiz marks also I have. Okay. Means. Uh, Here yeah, out of 10, there are two assignments. Okay, there are two assignments in that one is written assignment, one is video assignment, and one quiz is for five marks. Okay, for first assignment, uh, out of 10, the marks is awarded here. For second assignment, also out of 10 marks is awarded. For quiz, also out of five marks is awarded. So, total for 25, uh, so this is a summation. Summation, okay, the 25 marks is the total assignment marks out of 25. Okay, out of 25, so we have the assignment marks which is obtained. So, to calculate the final marks, okay, to calculate the final marks, what I will do is, I will delete all these columns, okay, see, so we have IA1 marks, we have IA two marks. We have assignment marks. Okay, here in this column. To calculate the final marks, final marks is the inclusion of uh, IA marks and assignment marks. Okay. So, to, uh, so we have to convert, uh, see IA1 is conducted for 50 marks, IA2 is conducted for 50 marks. So we need to uh, convert, means for total 100 marks IA1 and IA2 is, uh, uh, interval assessment test is conducted. So here what I will do is I will insert one more column here, insert for 100, for 100. 400 from IA1 and IA2, I will, I will sum uh, the marks obtained in IA1 and the marks obtained in IA2. Okay, for 100. So here you type is equal to, type is equal to, I want the summation of IA1, then plus, plus IA2. 
so and be careful while uh, choosing the number see i am uh, choosing the emrs corresponding to the roll number 1 okay corresponding to the roll number 1 be careful there type enter now it is okay now what i done is i have worked with multiple sheets so in final mark sheet i got sum of ia1 marks and ia2 marks in this final marks worksheet okay so if you extend this now you will get uh, the automatic calculation for remaining members okay so this is how you will work with multiple sheets now i have added whatever the mathematical uh, operation that you want to do you can do it you can do it i will explain this step once again see here i want the total imrs obtained okay means combination of ia1 and ia2 so here you go type is equal to type is equal to so ia1 marks are in different worksheet go to that worksheet click that ia1 mark plus ia2 marks type enter now marks will appear okay it will take the values from different sheets which you whichever you have given as input and it will calculate and it will give you the value okay so this whole marks you need to convert it into 25 for 25 this is for 100 for 25 it just divided by 4 is equal to is equal to is equal to 70 divided by 4 now it is calculating for 25 okay for 25 or calculating so assignment marks for 25 so in this worksheet we have the total assignment marks for 25 so i want uh, those numbers here okay so what you can do is you go to this cell type is equal to is equal to go to assignment sheet click that number type enter so it will automatically take the number from this sheet and it will copy here now double click here all the assignment marks will be copied automatically okay so here in final marks final marks is for 50 so this value plus this value okay this value plus this value is equal to is equal to is equal to this plus this now it is giving 39 Well, means it is do, doing round off 17.5 plus 21 means 38.5 uh, which is 39 okay 39 18 uh, 38.5 means it, it is rounded up, rounded up means the next value it has taken okay here also same thing 25 plus 11.5 36.5 next value is 37 so this is how uh, we will work with multiple sheets okay you can work with multiple sheets in a single workbook okay you can copy the sheets from other one workbook to the other workbook workbook you can uh, delete the sheets you can add new sheets you can rename okay and you can easily work with the multiple sheets okay so that's all for this video thank you